Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to this 100% walkthrough of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Today, we are taking on Chapter 1 of Return of the Jedi. It's called Jabba's Palace, so let's do it on Story Mode. Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Chapter 1, Jabba's Palace. Luke Skywalker has returned to his home planet of Tatooine in an attempt to rescue his friend Han Solo from the clutches of the vile gangster Jabba the Hutt. Little does Luke know that the Galactic Empire has secretly begun construction of a new armoured space station even more powerful than the first dreaded Death Star. When completed, this ultimate weapon will spell certain doom for the small band of rebels struggling to restore freedom to the galaxy. All that smoke's not good for the lungs. Productive work going on there, as you can see. He doesn't seem happy of the way things are going. <laughs> He's crying. Who's there? <laughs> Chewie doesn't want to go in. We've got to though. Okay then, so here we go. We are playing as Leia and Chewie. We're going to get more characters later on, but for now those are the ones we've got. And we've got to rescue Han. This is all part of Luke's elaborate plan to save his friend. So we're going to build this up here. True Jedi for this level is 43,000 studs. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to do it on story mode. I think we probably can. We'll give it a good go either way. Uh, any studs over here? Uh, we can destroy these later on, but there's not really an awful lot of point because... Well, I will explain why I'm free play. Let's put it that way. We are going to be able to do bounty hunter things in this level though for the first time. So what we want to do is get this to open up. We're going to shoot this. Uh, and die apparently. Brilliant. Screw you. There we go. We'll shoot that out. And uh, yeah, there's going to be more. So we want to shoot these. I think you have to shoot them six times. No, four times. Okay. One more here. When we've got rid of all of these, we can make our way inside. Three and four. There we go, and the door opens up. So let's head inside. We are going to run into a lot of enemies. So we want to pick up the power up. We want to come over here and close this. We also want to come over here and close this. Because this is where the bad guys are going to come from. And then we want to rebuild this quickly which is a little jukebox or music player and that's going to make these guys decide that they're going to start headbanging so we can just take them out uh whoops never mind didn't actually mean to destroy that but there we go we actually got extra studs from it for some reason oh i didn't know you could shoot the lamps nice extra studs we're going to need all of those studs for that times two multiplier brick, which we're going to get soon. But we are actually going to get another uh, power brick in this level for the first time in what feels like forever. Uh, I've just remembered there's another one of these here. No! Get out of here. 
And you. Go away. Okay, so we can do that. What's down this way? A guy hiding. We also have a panel for C-3PO, but we can't get in there because we don't have C-3PO. No studs hiding around behind there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use this to get our first ever Bounty Hunter helmet. And that will allow us to open up a Bounty Hunter door. Something we haven't been able to do before. Uh, there are actual Bounty Hunter characters, as you know, the likes of Jango Fett, Boba Fett, and several more. But yeah, you can also use the helmet dispenser as well, which is pretty cool. So let's head up here. Oh, really? We're gonna play it like that, are we? There we go. So yeah, we'll collect all those studs and we'll head through to the next area. Like so, where we're gonna find our good friend Luke. Right, let's pull these levers quickly to get rid of these guys. Stop them spawning in. Luckily they're quite slow with their attacks. Right, screw this. We're switching to the best characters. So these guys take two of these big double jump hits. But I find it's the easiest way to deal with them. Let's move this out of the way, shall we? Because that will go over there. Next, build this little panel here. Like so. Uh, can we jump up here? Yes, we can. We're going to jump up here on top of this. Come up here and get this power brick. Which, as I said, is our first one for ages. I'm not sure how Leia managed to jump up that. But apparently she did. Uh, right, those droids aren't going to do anything to us. Got an R2-D2 panel there. So let's push this onto the button. Grapple point to get up there, fair enough. And there's some blue studs in there. Right, this. Which will give us our next bounty hunter panel. And open up the next area, so we'll head through. Uh, Chewie, do you want one of these as well? May as well give him one, why not? Right, we'll come into this area. And we'll get attacked in a second. Here he is. Destroy this guy. Out of the way. Is there a pipe over here? Yes, there is. Can you stop? Thank you. Really? Anyway, we'll force choke that guy. Wow, there's a lot of noise going on right now. Okay, finally. Jeez. That took a little while, didn't it? Right, let's um, blow that up. With some extra studs. And we want to blow this up as well. Like so, which will give us this to build. This is a little lift. So collect the studs again. Chewy looks like he wants to go on there, so let's do that. Luke should automatically lift us up. So we can head up onto the ledge and along. And then we'll jump down, take out this guy. And that door will automatically open up. So, we want to do these switches, which will open up our next area. Shiny metallic objects can only be destroyed by bounty hunter thermal detonators. So, remember all those shiny things we've been seeing on previous levels? We can now finally destroy them. So, we're going to use a thermal detonator to do that. So, let's come over here. What we do is we press the circle button to chuck a thermal detonator on there. That will blow it up. 
And then we're ready to head on to the next area. Well, the next part of this area, really. Let's just take that out for some more studs. Right, Luke. Uh, let's... Right, no. Let's get over there and close that. Oh, cheeky one got through. Can you believe it? Right, collect that up. Nice blue... Oh, it's a lot of blue studs in this level. It's good. Right, so we've got this thing here, which we're going to finish building. Another blue stud. Wow. Right, and what we want to do now is uh, just switch to one of our characters with gun. And shoot this. To blow it up. That will open up this little area behind here. Where we can go up here to collect mini kit number one for the level. That is mini kit one of three that we can collect in story mode. Uh, let's just shoot this out and shoot these switches that you can see. Well, I suppose they're supposed to be chains. So shoot those out anyway. There's one on each side. This one. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And that will open up the door for us to head through. So on we go. Up the stairs, collecting the studs. Right, and we're going to get to this little area in a second. Now, can you guess which of these floor panels are traps? Is it the ones that look like they're part of the animation of the background? Or the ones that look like random Lego bricks? I'll leave you to decide that one. Don't step on the ones which are the floor panels. If you don't know, it's the ones that look like Lego bricks. The bright grey ones, basically. Okay, so. The door will open up automatically for us when we get through here. And we can head down these stairs, like so. Now, when we come into this room, there's some guards, but we don't need to worry about those just yet. We want to smash through this on the floor. To free quite a lot of studs, it turns out. And then walk through this little tunnel, because at the end of this little tunnel is mini kit number two. Right, now we come out of here and we'll destroy these guys. Don't ever turn your back on a guy with a lightsaber. Okay. Let's just blow this guy up. Thanks for the studs, buddy. Uh, okay, so... What we want to do is pull these levers to release some bricks, like so. And we want to rebuild all this stuff. That uh, gonk droid is glitching out big time in the top left of the screen there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> right, rebuild that, then rebuild the green bits. Like so. And what that is going to do, once we take this down... It's allow us to build a little droid for us to control. And you can see as well, C-3PO and R2-D2 are in little tanks at the back there. So we're going to use this nice little droid here. Using these arrows. So the you use the arrow to decide which way you want it to go. And it's a little hovering platform that you can jump on. And then jump up and over into the tank to free our friends. So there's C-3PO. Now we want to send the droid all the way to the right. I mean, is it a droid? It's more like a hovering platform than a droid, I suppose, isn't it? And that will allow us to get R2-D2 out there as well. First, I'm just going to blow this up with some more studs. Because we are almost at True Jedi. So, we want to make sure that we get it. Can you stop spinning around, please, buddy? And there we go. R2-D2's free as well. So, there's a panel for both of our friends right here. C-3PO, if you could open this up, please. And R2-D2, if you could do the same. That would be great. Okay, through to the next area. Where well, we're going to pick up a couple of blue... No, one blue stud. Right, and what we want to do is rebuild this as well. This is another one of these jukeboxes or radios. And again, that's going to play the Imperial March. Which is going to distract the guards who are just a bit further up. Ah, 
We didn't get a stud from that. What was that about, game? Yeah, we should get true Jedi. We've got a little bit... Really? Huh, I guess it's timed. I never knew that. Wow. Alright, well, Chewie will just beat them up. Right, shoot these out. Like so, R2-D2, we need you to open this panel, mate. Thank you. And through we go. Right, in this area we've got a fair bit to do. We want to close this quickly. Ah, no guards have been out there. There is another one, though, that we can't get to just yet. And we get true Jedi. So we want to push this all the way to here and then all the way to the left. Like so. You can see there's more markers on the floor. So we've got more of these things to push around. Go away, guys. We don't want you over here. Push that one into place as well. These guys are going to come out. You can see the pipe up there at the top. We actually need to get up there to be able to take those guys out obviously we can't do that just yet ah, really screw you all right well these guys are just going to keep coming so let's push this all the way down and then onto this marker push 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 I hope I have not got that stuck there. No, okay, it's good. We can push it back out. Can you leave me alone? Apparently they can't leave me alone. Alright, let's push that. Get out the way, droid thing. Right, can we use the force on all of these? Joe up. Screw you. And you. Right, now R2 and C3PO can get up here. So what we can do is use this to make a little platform. We can force this over into position. And we can force this one down to make a little bridge. So now our guys can get across. Right, leave those guys for now. I'm just going to destroy this and pull this lever to stop more. Alright, there we go. We're all good now. Right, guys, if you can come across here, please. R2, we need you again. To fly across this gap and activate this. Which will open up this last little bridge. And bring us to this area. Luke. Destroy that for me. Rebuild the panel on the wall. Where we're going to need 3PO. A lot of interchanging characters, as you can see. 3PO, power that up, man. And through we go to the next area. Downstairs. <clears throat> now, you might recognise this area a little bit. Starting to go to areas that we might have seen in the movie. Right, we're pulling this. And this one as well. So we're getting near to Jabba's throne room now. And the gate opens. Mysteriously. I wonder why it opened up. It's probably nothing, right? Anyway. Leia, if you could uh, use this, please. <clears throat> to get a bounty hunter helmet. Chewie, you can do it as well. Right, and we want to head on to the next area. Quite a lot of areas in this level.
Right, out the way and closing the pipes. I wonder what happens to the guys when you close the pipes. They all just like build up in there. <coughs> That's a suspicious looking curtain. I wonder what's behind there. Probably nothing, right? Oh god, there's a lot of guards here. Yeah, I'm sure there's nothing behind there. It's probably just a completely innocent curtain. Right, Stormtrooper helmet. That's the first one we want. Because we're going to open this up. And in here we're going to find a pig guy. And our third and final mini kit for the level. Now, unfortunately, both Leia and Chewie lost their helmets there. So we're going to have to come back through here to get another one. Because we need the Bounty Hunter helmet. For that Bounty Hunter switch you saw on the back wall. Nothing in there at all. It's just a curtain. Because you can see Hans there on the wall. So let's use this switch to free him. away kids there was something behind the curtain it's Jabba <laughs> no where are we now we are in the pit with the rancor uh, so little mini boss fight here uh, not as difficult as you might think, though. Because there's an easy way of beating this guy. And it involves... We'll just get that, shall we? It involves using C-3PO. Or R2-D2 over the other side. To activate this panel. And look! Lunchtime! No, no, no. Come back. Right, there we go. It's lunchtime for the Rancor. <coughs> uh, Han, what you want to do is shoot that. Boom. So that'll take a bit of health off. We'll do the same again. Get your lunch. Come on. Well done. Good boy. Right. We'll let the Rancor go wherever it's going. Is it going over there? It is. Shoot that. Okay, one more time. Yeah, this isn't too difficult to fight. Can you stop running around, guys? Get the Rancor. No, get the Rancor. He's over here. Uh, not the Rancor. I'm saying that. The Rancor is the big guy. There you go. Lunchtime. And now this time he's going to come up underneath the door. So we're just going to pull both of these levers. And bye bye. I like how he's just knocked out in this. Whoa, that's a lot, guys. Jab is not happy. He looks scared. And there we go, level complete. Free play unlocked. We unlocked the Super Zapper Power Brick. We also unlocked Princess Leia Boosh. Luke Skywalker Jedi. Han Solo Skiff. And we got True Jedi. Quite comfortably this time, which is nice. Another 52,000 studs goes onto the total. We got three mini kits. A largely successful level and two power bricks. One for level complete. Uh, not, sorry, gold bricks. 
One for level complete, one for free, uh, for <laughs> true Jedi. I'm getting all my words wrong today. What's going on? So let's head back to the Mos Eisley Cantina to check our percentage before we'll discuss a little bit more about what we're going to do. Because remember, we are not buying any more characters for the time being until we get the score times to multiply a power brick we're almost halfway to saving up for it so hopefully by the time we hit free play we'll be able to get it but yeah return of the jedi has begun already the final of the movies in the game uh we're up to 43.1 percent complete so as always guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click on that like button it really does help the channel to grow so i do appreciate it make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so and i'll see you all next time